Madrid, Spain released guidelines on Saturday allowing children to go outside after six weeks living under one of Europe's strictest lockdowns, as figures showed a daily coronavirus death toll of 378, up slightly on Friday's 367, the lowest in the past month. The total of fatalities rose to 22,902 and Spain's health ministry said the overall number of coronavirus cases rose to 223,759 from 219,764 the day before. Yet Spain sees enough evidence of the virus being under control to start easing its lockdown. Children were trying out their masks in anticipation of their first taste of fresh air since Prime Minister Pedro Sánchez declared a state of emergency on March 14. The government said under 14s will from Sunday be allowed up to one hour of supervised outdoor activity per day between 9 a.m. and 9 p.m., staying within one kilometer of their home. Adults can accompany up to three children, who will not be allowed to use play parks and must adhere to social distancing guidelines, remaining at least two meters from other people. The government has not yet said when confinement measures will be eased for older children. In Pineda de Mar, northeast Spain, volunteer seamstresses were hard at work making face masks for children ahead of the deconfinement measure. More than 100 people are making protective equipment, the town's mayor Xavier Amor told Reuters. We started with masks and then we followed the demand of hospitals, health centers, and nursing homes. As bars and restaurants eye a gradual reopening one company is devising safety measures to encourage wary clients to return. Legaines based Yena 2 Bar, whose name translates as Fill Up Your Bar, is fitting dining tables with clear plastic screens to protect customers and installing thermal cameras to detect any patrons with a fever. It's a critical situation for the hospitality sector and if we're locked down much longer, people will struggle to reopen their businesses, owner Manuel Gill told Reuters. As the economic fallout from the virus continues to build, Prime Minister Pedro Sánchez reiterated calls for a pan-European response. The depth of the economic downturn and the risk that its effects will persist after the health emergency requires that a foundation be laid for a rapid, balanced, environmentally sustainable and socially just recovery, Sánchez wrote in a piece for newspaper expansion on Saturday. The health ministry on Friday changed the methodology for logging cases of the virus. It will no longer count antibody tests and will only include positive results from PCR tests. Discounting antibody tests puts Saturday's total number of cases at 205,905 and Friday's at 202,990.